Okay y'all, so I'm here to do um, meal prepping for myself um, for the week and one of my dinners or my meals is going to be cabbage soup. I pre-cooked my cabbage and I just had a small head of um, a small head of cabbage that I put on the stove and just kind of let get a little softened so when I put it over in my crock pot it wasn't taking up a lot of room um, and I opened up a bag of um, pig sweet cut okra and it's just a frozen bag of a cut okra and then I used a pig sweet bag of mixed vegetables frozen mixed vegetables that I also poured over in there then I'm gonna add in some whole peeled tomatoes um, and then I'm gonna add in some tomato soup and then I'm gonna let this cook um, probably in the crock pot about four hours maybe until everything gets a little softened and, and everything and then I am going to um, put it over in a bowl after it cools down and that will be what I will eat probably for my dinners this week which is just your traditional cabbage soup. I will probably have a salad for um, each day for lunch and just in case I don't want to have a salad I will have other options as well but I picked me up some and then my husband up some um, for his lunch too so right here I have the BLT salad and you see it comes with chicken and it'll tell you everything that it has with it um, I my favorites right now is the BLT and then this one right here, which is the apple walnut salad, absolutely delicious. This one right here comes with blue cheese and it has a mixture of your, um, what am I looking for? The cranberries and the walnuts in it. It is so good. Um, I have never tried the turkey and bacon cob, but it looked pretty good. And I know my husband is a big eat, uh, meat eater. So I grabbed him one and I grabbed myself one. Then we have the chef salad right here too and you can see everything that it actually comes with. It'll tell you everything on the label. It also gives you the breakdown of the ingredients um, and the nutrients um, that are in it just as well. I get these from my local Walmart and they are very, very good. They run about $2.98, um, which is pretty good. And then they have one that is like $3.98 and it's a little bit bigger. Um, probably more square like than it is round I did pick up some extra these do not come with any um, cucumbers nor do they come with any of the tomatoes so I did go and pick up some and I'm gonna just dice up some and uh, the cucumbers and then put them in a little small to go um, Tupperware thing so that my husband and I can put it on our salads just to add you know that into it because we we love cucumbers and um, tomatoes to add into it okay guys so here is another one of my either going to be lunch or going to be snack or going to be a dinner this is homemade chicken salad and again this is a Pinterest recipe that um, is really really simple all it was is um, I took chicken breasts or chicken yeah they were chicken breasts skinless um, boneless chicken breasts that I took and I put them over into my pressure cooker and let it cook them down so that it could be so that I could shred it up I put it over into my ninja and um, shredded it really really good um, in there you will see let me see if I can get a little closer that is celery right there and then this right here is um, oh my goodness it is cranberries and pecans that you see inside of it and I will probably eat it on apple slices and this right here is just a green apple and what I will do is probably end up taking just a dollop of the cranberry no, the cranberry of the chicken salad and putting it over onto a apple slice and I will eat it um, like that this is actually what it looks like after I get it onto the little apple slices but we're gonna take it up here and let T try it and see what he thinks um, this is my first time actually making it but this chicken salad is like amazing y'all very very good it's tough to get New York, 
good, man. It's really good, and the chicken salad turned out amazing. It's supposed to be like a good snack, but I said for me it would be like for dinner or it could be a snack or it can be something like for lunch or whatnot. So. But it's I like good. that. You got that. The mixture of all and then that tartness of the apples. apples. I like this. I'm going to keep this one. Okay. Okay, y'all, so here is another thing that I will be prepping or having for um, my meal prep. This right here are peanut butter balls. Um, I call them oatmeal balls. Um, the recipe, again, will be on my Pinterest page, and um, I will put it in the link in the description bar below. But these right here are nothing but peanut butter and um, oatmeal oats. Um, and just you know whatever brand of oatmeal that you like and you don't know you don't cook it it's just peanut butter oatmeal oats honey and you can put flax seeds in it if you would like just to kind of help um, what am I looking for give you the fiber that you're needing um, if you choose not to put flax seeds in it is totally up to you I also like to add in some cranberries in mine but I didn't in this particular batch here but after you get it all mixed up together and then you form your balls then you put them in the refrigerator and the refrigerator will cool them and help them to set and form um, or keep the ball actually together once they have formed and I'll put maybe about three of these in a container and take it to work with me and these I would use to snack on so Um, so right here is what all I do to make my smoothie and there's like a gazillion different types of videos that's out there that will show you different ways and different um, techniques that people use to make their smoothies. Um, mine is very simple. I have my ninja, um, my little ninja cup right here and it came in a little set that has three cups you have one that's actually bigger than this one I don't know the ounce of this one I can't remember but anyway it has one that's smaller one that's larger and then this was in this one right here is in the middle but I have my almond milk right here and it is the unsweetened kind here is just a little bag of frozen strawberries then this is the particular type of uh, protein powder that I like. I've tried all different types and this one right here seems to taste the best to me. Over here I have um, another different brand of frozen fruits that I use. I have my um, vanilla yogurt right here that I use and then bananas. Over here is what I got for my snack. I just have some celery right here that I will probably end up taking. Um, if I don't do the peanut ball, I will probably end up dipping this into either some ranch dressing or um, some peanut butter. And then here I just grab some apples and um, I will probably end up slicing these and taking um, and you know taking one whole apple and then slicing it and eating probably some of it in the morning after I finish my smoothie or in between lunch or in between um, in between breakfast and lunch or in between lunch and dinner one or the other okay so I wanted to kind of come back and show you what the soup is actually looking like and as you can see it is getting to be really good I wish that you could uh, smell through the camera because it smells absolutely amazing okay so this right here is going to be the gist of my um, meal prep and that's for only one day and of course I went through everything that is on the table back there is my salad that I will eat for lunch this is just um, some what do you call it um, sugar-free um, the drinks y'all that you put into water just to add flavor y'all know what I'm talking about but anyway I love that particular brand and I love that kind is is really good if you haven't tried it y'all too right here is just cut up um, 
cucumbers that I will probably eat for snack plus I will add some of that over into my salad since I told you guys that the salad does not come with cucumbers um, of course in the morning I told you I'll do my shake and that will go into or my smoothie that will go into that container and then if I get hungry after that I have two hard boiled eggs right here that I can eat here is the protein balls that I made. Um, that will be for a snack as well, or it can go in between the breakfast and the lunch. The banana right there is for mid snack or either the apple, either which one. In this particular container right here, I have these right here are, um, what do they call them? They're cranberry and almond like clusters. Um, they're really good. They they have flavor in it. Um, I just added, put those in here just in case I needed something crunchy to munch on besides chips. This should help the, the chip, I guess, taste that I'm trying to go for. But anyway, they, they're pretty good if you hadn't tried. Let me see if I have them. Right here is what they are. They're fruit clusters. And I picked them up in the store and you can find them in the nut aisle or the snacks aisle. But it's cranberry almond clusters. They're pretty good. Um, but that's going to be the gist of my meal prepping for the week. Um, if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comment section down below. And other than that, I hope you enjoy this video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.